Molly Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Quest 64. So I did a little bit of grinding, not a lot. I went back to Normoon and uh growing. Yeah, I went back to Normoon and killed some stuff in Windward Forest. And now I've come back. Now we get in here and talk to her here. I've been expecting you. Release the protective water and open the road to the sacred water crystal valley. The cavern entrance will appear after the water has subsided. The cavern is very long and the demons numerous, but you must take this route. I have to make sure you are a genuine magician. Epona is waiting in the valley. All right, please hurry. The water will subside for only a short time. May the spirits watch over you on your way. <laughs> um, chest, can I have it? Hello? I don't want to talk to you, I want the treasure chest. There we go. Silver amulet. So talking to her should trigger the water receding. Yep, okay. Now she says that hurry and it'll only recede for a short time, but I don't believe her. I'm pretty sure it actually stays receded until you finish the uh, blue cavern. Uh, spirits. Any spirits down here? There's one. Oh, I found one in the Windward Forest that I missed. It was over by the house. Um, oh, we learned Exit. Uh, exit is a good way of getting to the entrance of a dungeon if you're lost. Or low on HP. And I believe... Yep, here we go. Ah, I don't like this place. Can you get back out? Okay, you can't get back out. Okay. Ah, this place is a maze. It's so much of a maze, they actually gave you markers to tell you where you're going. There's treasures in here and such, but... Okay. Mimic. That casts Ice Knife. Wonderful. Oh, we also have a new fire spell, uh, Magma Ball. That's what the, um... That's what the spiders were casting. I'll show it in a second. Oh, Walking Water. That is a, that's, I thought it used a move like that. Let's use Magma Ball. When you're close range, you can actually hit the enemy three times. And it has a fair amount of power to it, so... This area isn't so difficult as it is long, and numerous enemies. Multi-optics. These are probably the weakest things in here. They're basically fire gels with a different, different skin. trying to build up my agility by running around, even if it puts me in danger, because agility is very important. There we go. And this is a dead end. level three, but okay.
I don't know if it's any more powerful than Fireball, but... Oh, these guys are the dangerous ones. These are scorpions. They use a very powerful walking water spell. And they also have another move. Yeah, that move is the, the weak one. That's the one you want them to use. And also they're high of high agility. Making it very hard to hit them with anything. That one's gonna be close enough to use walking water. Yeah, these guys are a pain. We got him. But at what cost? Huh. The agility is kind of why I want agility myself. Because enemy agilities are starting to get really high and we're only in the 30s. Yeah. throw us battles like this where we have like a hundred enemies to fight. Um... These are one of the weaker enemies in the area though. There's just numerous of them usually. Too. No. Build up our HP too, I guess. gone, but if I could actually hit this guy, it wouldn't be so bad. That's part of the problem, though. You gotta have agility to land the blues, especially physical attacks. Well, or I could just stand there. Alright. Yeah, Blue Cavern is... Uh, I, I don't like it. I never have.
How I got through this place as a kid, I will never know. Oh, it's a worm thingy. I forget what they do, but I remember not liking it. Will they silence you? Oh, no, the ice knife. Okay. I could have sworn we start encountering enemies that have silence in here. Oh, wow. That thing was very weak to fire. Uh, aha. Yeah, the game tries to trick you with that. I thought so. Scorpions. You can tell they have a high agility because they also go first. So there's that. Oh, wow. He managed to miss with all that. I, I don't know how, but I'll take it. Uh-oh. Ah. Level up. Yay. And we do not get any new spells. In fact, we're only missing, I think, two spells. Um, yeah. We're missing the Fire, Water, Wind spell and the Fire, Water, Water spell. That's the only spells we need for uh, fire now. <clears throat> Excuse me. This place has some nice music. It's very somber. That's the right word for that. Ow. Well, I just one shot of that scorpion. Probably the only advantage is being able to actually deal enough damage that they uh, die quickly. Now imagine, if we were splitting our magic up evenly, and how little damage we'd be doing for that. Uh, this is not good. Okay, so they have less than 200 HP. Got it. The outside is may have to run from a battle soon because I'm running low on MP. Or the game can throw me a battle that I can do pretty easily without MP. Vampires touch up. I probably should not run when he does that because I do not want to end up getting frozen facing the wrong direction. I'd do it anyway. You survived, did you? Right, let's hope we get some more MP. 
Or we can just get into a battle again. More of you guys? Seriously? Let's see if I can kill the crawlers. Really? I missed? <sighs> Fine, whatever. the crawlers. Really, I'm already out of vampire touch? I swear, sometimes the buffs in this game do not last proper times. <sighs> no, I missed. Doesn't help matters any when I miss. Oh, come on. It would have given me 6 MP back if I hadn't missed twice in a row. Okay, this is a big room, and there's my... Waypoint, and there's some scorpions. I do not have the MP to deal with this fight, so we are going to just go ahead and cast heal on our way out and run. Ah, subsection. Yep, we're on a little path here. I don't know if we can counter enemies here. Um, but yeah, so ultimately I think we have to go back that way. Yeah. So we're full MP again and full HP again, so that's nice. This is a long cave. Yup. Long cave. Not much else I can really say to this place. It's... <sighs> yeah. Also, that was a very long time without a battle. Wow. Um, let's see here. Be a good spell for this. Probably a uh, firebomb. Yeah, I hit like three or four of them. Let's see here. No, he's going to get close enough for walking water. Yeah, by the time they get up to where they can cast it, there's really no way of avoiding it. Let's heal up. And let's take a right. So there's probably spirits and all in here. I know there are in the Game Boy game, but this area is about as bad as Cole Hazard. 
as far as... It doesn't have the Wyvern, because, oh god, if it had something like the Wyvern. Um, but it does have a lot of annoying enemies, and it's incredibly long, so it's an endurance thing. And... Yeah, I've just never liked this place. It is heavy on the water enemies, which makes it fairly easy for someone who's using fire, but... As you can see by how often we've ended up either low on HP or out of MP, it's not a cakewalk. killed all but two. one. There it is. What's our agility at now? Oh, 40. 40 agility and 40 defense. Nice. How close should we be getting our next spirit? Ah, 85%. Okay. You. I hate this battle. And again, I just hate scorpions in general. And I managed to hit all- you know what, I'm gonna stay right here, right? And forego getting any agility experience there. Just so I can throw another fireball and try to kill the scorpions. Okay. Can I- nope, I can't. All I have to do- all I can do is do this. Okay, got it. Yes, yes, you hit me with that. I don't care. Die. And we get our 40th fire. Now we get extinction. I... I don't remember what that does. It sounds like it's instant death, but I don't think it's the case. Maybe it is? I... I don't remember. I really should look up the, these spells sometime. Oh look, it's a minute. Maybe I can try out my new extinction spell on it. Oh! It is instant death. Oh, oh my. I didn't know fire got instant death. That's interesting. Um not sure how to uh how to respond to that. Oh, wow. Okay, it does miss. That's good to know. So it probably has this, the similar kind of accuracy as most status effect spells. So it probably won't work at all on fire enemies, and it'll work more effective against water enemies, which is probably why I missed so few times. You know, for every enemy I've hit, cast it on, I only missed once so far. If I if I'm to extinct anything, I want it to be those. Thank you. And now you're the closest one, so this should automatically target you. Oh, I missed. I don't know, considering how much MP I pour into fighting these things, it's not a bad idea to fight them with it. This guy is nothing compared to them. Now, my only question is, do you get the same amount of spirit EXP for extincting them, or does it remove them from battle? Hmm, I don't know. It's nice to have, though. Like I said, I've never leveled fire as my main, so I honestly didn't know about that spell. I 
I generally use uh, wind, and wind is fun. Wind is a lot easier because aiming is not a thing for most of its spells um, outside of Giant Cutter. But I actually have been thinking about doing a very short, like a, um, a, what is it? What is it called? A montage video for wind showing how much easier wind is for siege section. Hello, how are you doing? Although, Wind may actually have a harder time here. But, I mean, I'm thinking more of bosses. where that other extra boss is? Yeah, you know, the extra boss that I mentioned in Cole Hazard, it may actually be here. <clears throat> and yes, this is the same Skelebats as from Cole Hazard. bats. Oh, a spirit. Oh. Oh. Well, now that I've seen it, I can't ignore it. And this area is nothing but Skelebats, so this isn't going to be a bad thing. Annoying, maybe. Not bad. area literally is a maze. No give. I want spirit. Thank you. No, still no healing level 2. And no new water spells at all. Okay. But it should make my healing a slightly bit fat better. Maybe more regularly hit 12s. Less 11s. I'll submit leaves. Let's go back to where we were. And of course I missed the last one. Really? Bats aren't hard, but they are annoying, definitely. Well, at least there aren't any wyverns in here. Alright, back to what we were doing. Well, if I had aimed that right, that would have worked. Of course, assuming I hit all three of them. also assuming this is the right way, which I honestly don't know if it is or not. Pretty sure I want to head as far north as I can in this room. And this is a dead end. Of course it is. Well, let's try this way then. Oh, 
Okay, skill of that. Eat fireball. Oh, there we go. That worked much better. Just in case. Really? Wait, oh, yeah, that's too close. No, hold up. Bah, I'll do it anyway. Oh, I did hit all three of them. Nice. I actually can hit 13 now with healing. Nice. Well, a little bit too close there. Oh, can be 14 occasionally. Huh. Wow. Didn't really know my range was that wide. Yeah, we'll try it. And I still I hit directly on that other skill I'm at, but not this one. Aha. Here we are. Maybe it's still this weird color, though. But we're back to fighting the other enemies. Oh, look! They're identical to their thing. The, the uh, fire gels, or blood gels, whatever they're called. Uh, fireball. Diamond ball. Yes, but I still won't know what they're called. <laughs> okay, you stop that. It would be a very, very big shame to cast eggs at this point, so please try not to. Really? Huh. You know, I wonder how well physics works, because technically I'm firing down, so this should go a while. Yeah, it actually worked! Oh, wow! It goes a lot further if it's going down. <laughs> I give them that. They, uh, that was actually well programmed. Considering everything in this game that isn't, it's, uh, pretty nice to see something like that work properly. I think the biggest problem with casting magic like that is the, the aiming is a little finicky, being in full 3D with no aiming reticules or anything. And, conversely, going uphill, it slams into the wall much quicker, slams into the floor much quicker. That's completely understandable. It actually went over their heads. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, blood gel. Oh, in fact, the blood gels actually use more. Don't they? Blood gels use a stronger spell, but they're actually weaker in power. Alright. Wait, I see light. Are we at the end? Ah, we made it. Welcome to Crystal Valley. Let's explore this place a little bit. I don't remember if there's any... Uh...
don't think there's any spirits right now. Let's go and talk to our lady here. Epona. So you are Brian. Your reputation grows with every victory. My name is Epona. You have the magic jewel, do you not? But only a true magician will be able to use it. It's true, the Elatea book has been stolen. A thousand years ago, a great war broke out over possession of the book. But no one know, knew the truth behind the book's power. No one must ever open the Elatea book. If its power is released, it will be the end of all we know. That is why the Elatea book must be recovered and returned to its safekeeping in the monastery. Starting from the stone circle in the innermost room, go to the Isle of Sky in Loch Kildare. There you will find the precious stone of the water spirit. Ask the sorceress Coley to help let you borrow it. Chappy, you're past the blue cave now. Did the tiring make you or the crossing make you tired? There's not much you can do except to stop here for a rest. Yep, so this is where we're gonna call it. Until next time, folks. We we hope to see you again when we come back to go through that door back there and apparently go to lock. Kildare? Oh, she's me. Ooh, yawn. But yep, we're apparently going to Lock Kildare for the water stone since we have two of the, the five elemental stones now. So we hope to see you again. Later.